Hello and welcome. In this Finex online help session, I'll detail the features of the dashboard and explain the common icons used throughout. When you first log into Vinex, the dashboard screen will open up. Your membership name and profile is available here and you can scroll down and review it. You can return to the dashboard by always clicking on the home button up here in the top left of the screen. In addition, you can also view your membership level and change your membership level here. Premium membership is the highest level of Vinex membership. Over here under the stars, you can see your current trading profile status and you can also view the country of origin, number of listed trades, etc. This profile is available for all members and can be viewed on any actions throughout the exchange by members. The dashboard is made up of several sections, my listings, my watch list, my messages, my samples and my offers. These are the main five sections. Under my listings you can see that you have three listings here currently on the exchange and under my watch list you can see that three listings are currently being viewed. Under my offers there's one offer here which is pending waiting for the list owner to respond. Under my samples there's one sample request currently pending and one sample request that has been withdrawn. And under my messages there was a message issued and a reply received recently. Further down on your dashboard you can also view the trade history, all of the events by item number. In addition to that the daily insights are summarised down here and you can click through and keep up to date on the insights across the market. From your dashboard you can start trading by clicking on the green button here. That will take you straight into the exchange. You could also click on the exchange menu option up here. In addition to that you can add listing by clicking on this button here. Some of the icons to be explained include trade icons which run down here and we will review in a minute. In addition to that there's a shopping cart icon here which means that with this listing here I've selected something and I'm yet to pay for that addition. In addition to that you can see the small icon here with the I and the number and also down here through the watch list items. This shows the number of people that are currently viewing these listings. Any time that you see a red square with a white droplet in the middle that is an action button and that's an action pending waiting for you to complete. In this instance here the action is for a sample request of which I'm either to accept or decline. The buyer has also asked for technical analysis to be included. If we enter the exchange we can view the trade method icons. These are the five trade methods when selling a wine. First the auction with the auction hammer. Best offer which is a buy negotiation trade method with the circular arrows. Buy now which is a fixed price trade method with the price ticket icon. The swap offer trade method which is for two producers to swap a wine, a non-financial transaction, swapping one wine volume for another wine volume to a certain value. And finally the fifth trade method is the pre-harvest forward contract buy trade method showing the grapes from the next available vintage. For buyers who are sourcing wines on the required side of the exchange their trade methods begin with the procurement auction, a reverse style auction, once again with the auction hammer, a buy negotiation trade method called tender manager showing a wine bottle, the fixed price trade method with the price ticket and also once again the pre-harvest Ford contract sell showing the grapes from the next available vintage. 
These are all available to buyers who are sourcing requirements through the exchange. In addition to that, you will also see icons which reflect listings in the Daily Offers Exchange. The Daily Offers icon up here can also be seen in the grey square box here, the lightning bolt. In the third exchange, the sub-exchange, you will see a padlock icon inside a small grey square. This shows that the listing is indeed locked and only available to members that have been invited to view this listing. Also on the main exchange and the other exchanges, you will see the samples icon. When samples are available, the glass is full, and when samples are not available, the glass will be empty. The last icon is the small yellow person icon here, and this shows that this listing is indeed your one of your listings. It's an easy way to be able to find your listings on the exchange. Finally, there is three other levels of highlights which have icons. One is the VIN scores, VIN score with the rosette and the number, the wine ranking out of five for this particular wine. In addition to that, there is a specials icon, which is the red box with the white star, and this is a VINX special, denoting that the wine is in exceptional value. And finally, the featured listings, which indeed are the coloured bars and the green box with the white tick, denoting that this wine is featured on the exchange. These are the main icons that you will see throughout the exchange. We hope you found this session helpful and encourage you to view the other sessions on online help.